dodos went extinct because they were dumb, right? Wrong. And that's the part people always get wrong. Here's the real story. And trust me, it's weirder and sadder than the cartoons. A long, long time ago. Pigeon-like ancestors relatives of today, Ese Nicobar Piheon, flew across the Indian Ocean and landed on Mauritius, in a place with few predators and loads of food. Natural selection did one thing. It favored birds that didn't waste energy on flying. Over generations, they got bigger, their wings shrank, and they became flightless low but perfectly adapted to island life. In short, they weren't foolish. They were specialized. Fast payoff. When sailors first saw them in the 1500s and 1600s, the birds were easy prey. But it wasn't just human hunting that finished them off. People brought rats, pigs, monkeys, dogs, and even cows' animals that ate eggs, tore up nests, and gobbled food. Forests were cut for settlements, and goats grazed seedlings. So the dodo lost habitat and breeding ground almost at the same time. That lethal cocktail hunting, invasive species, and habitat destruction did them in. Here's the open loop. You've seen pictures of a comically fat, clumsy bird. But artists exaggerated the look, and sailors gave mixed reports. Tito do Wasin, Tia Joka Nature. It was a big island pigeon doing what island animals do best, specialize. The last reliable sightings come from the late 1600s. By about the 1690s, it was gone. People didn't realize right away that an entire species had vanished. Play this little riddle in the comments, which single thing killed the dodo more? Direct human hunting, or the animals humans accidentally brought with them. Type hunt, or pests? I'll read the answers, and we'll see which one most people blame. Bottom line, the dodo is a classic human-caused extinction, not a tale about a dumb bird. It's a warning flag when we change an island ecosystem. Even the most perfectly adapted creature can be wiped out in a few decades. And today, islands are still biological time bombs for extinctions. So, the dodo's story still matters.